What's up guys, it's Cookie Junkie here bringing you another dose of Minecraft. Today I'm um, doing a quick start guide for the Fantastic Camera Studio mod, which is by Shushen, I think I've got that right. And would you move out the way? You make a better door than a window. Thank you. And um, this mod allows you to make really professional looking time lapses, even if you don't have a great computer. You can have a pretty rubbish computer and it won't matter, you'll still get really good results with this. So, um, I'm going to show you an example at the end of this video, but I'm just going to go through all what you need to know, really. So once you've got this successfully installed, uh, and the, my installation video will be in the link in the description and on the screen now, so you can click on it and see how to install it all. Uh, once you've got it installed, you can click O to access the options menu, and you'll notice you get five little tabs here. The, um, the first one you don't really need to adjust, this is fine, and the second one is just about sort of the camera shortcuts and stuff and yeah again just leave it as it is you might want to turn periodic messages off just because I don't like them always coming up but um, you'll probably use F1 and stuff so that's all good now um, this one though is normally turned off camera third person just means when you set points and it goes around them another you is flying about so I'll show you, I'll show you how to do this to set points what you'll do is just press P when you set in, stood in the position, fly around again, press P. You do need flight for this to work, by the way. You have to be in creative or have some sort of fly thing on. Go around again and press P. You can do this as many times as you want. And then when you've done, you can do slash cam start, and you can see the path of that your yeah, camera will take. And it'll just uh, yeah, it'll go around. So if I. Uh, Bloody rain. So annoying, isn't it? Um, if I do slash cam start and then put a time in, so I could do 10s, which is seconds, or m, which is minutes. So I'll just, or you can even do hours, I think, but that's pointless. So if I just do 10s, it'll take 10 seconds for the path to complete. Now, make sure when you start, uh, you can do slash cam stop as well to stop flying around. Make sure before you start you're flying because it just makes it look smoother. So if you do cam start now you'll notice there's none of that jerking that was in before which just I think that's a bit of a bug to be honest but they'll get that sorted. And if I um, change the settings by going O uh, and uh, cam third person clicking on and then doing a slash cam start you'll notice that it's someone else flying around which is just an identical me that's not me if that makes sense so yeah that's, that's pretty awesome now there is a bit of a oops there is a bit of a problem with this if you go into your options and click on for the first time this option will not be set on so that means when you click video record it will record from your point of view which might be me looking at uh, Nick here instead of the thing flying around you've got to turn that on to get the point of view recorded from the thing that's the other you that's the cloned you which is flying around you can adjust your video recording settings in here so like your frame rate your video speed your codec uh, extension uh, folder and multi threads just your processor basically how many cores it adds on it um, now the higher you have this the better your video will look if you've got a bad computer. So what I mean by this, if you have it at one times, which is normal video recording, it's going to put a lot of strain on your computer and the this this software doesn't work too well on one times. You can get really good results though if you up it a bit to like 30 or something, if you've got a rubbish computer, it will look smooth and really nice and obviously everything will be sped up, so it will just make the build look very nice and fast. Don't bother with audio recording, it's pointless. <laughs> Because you're not really going to do a commentary over like maybe an hour of footage or whatever, I don't know, that's compressed into like 30 seconds. So, yes, yeah, and it'll be sped up and stuff, so it's, it's not worth it. Just don't do that. So, I'm going to um, show you basically now that I've got all that set up, show you how to record it. I've set the record button to be my uh, page down key, I think. I'm like, oh no, it's my right key, there we go. So you notice in the top right corner it says recording at 10 times, and that's just at 10 times normal speed. So obviously everything will look a lot faster. And if I click it again, 
it'll stop recording and it's all good. So I'm now going to show you an example as Nick here is going to build something just over here. So I'm just going to type slash cam start um, and then my time. So I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put in 10 minutes and click done and then click the right button, search recording and boom, there we go, it's going, it's building and Nick can now start building the little house there. Well that's it for this mod, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope it's helped you. If you've got any questions please comment below and if you want to know how to install this mod, click in the link in the description and that'll take you to my video going through a quick installation process that isn't too difficult. Uh, if you've got any video responses, I'd love to see them and see what you've made in this and stuff. And uh, yeah, please comment, rate and subscribe.